All right, uh, you're up about 146 points now on the Dow Jones Industrials here. Uh, this meeting that's coming up uh, before the big meeting in Singapore between uh, President Trump and Kim Jong-un in North uh, uh, Korea is the, the G7, the trade meeting. And that one has turned in unexpectedly in a fireworks session in and of itself. Our own allies, our own friends are angry at us for targeting them for tariffs and sanctions and the like uh, because they don't play fair. Uh, and in the case of Canada, some of them are risking our national security. Now, that has got... Uh, the Prime Minister of Canada, Trudeau, apoplectic. He wants a, uh, a bilateral meeting with the president. He just got one. Uh, so did the French uh, president, who also wanted a, a, a private meeting with the president. He got it. Um, but, of course, it's Emmanuel Macron who's urged everyone to be calm, everyone to be nice, everyone to be civil. Uh, but it's been anything but in the face of these uh, trade moves by the president and that he's not lightening up even on our friends. Wall Street Journal Global Economics Editor John Hilsenrath. John, I was positing that maybe the wacky notion that this was a salvo to the Chinese, that this is, that, that we're so determined to get fair trade that we'll even pounce on our friends to get it. Take the, take the message, China. What do you think? Yeah. Well, you know, I, I think the overriding issue is that the president himself you know, feels that we've got to take a tough stance on trade, that we have large, we had large, large trade deficits and that he's going to go after anyone uh, that has, uh, has trade surpluses with us. You know, I would point uh, your, your viewers to a piece running on the Wall Street Journal website right now that looks at how the president is managing this process and looks at the fighting that's going on inside the administration around him over trade issues. And one of the really big... Uh, ideas that comes out of this article is that the president just decided a few weeks ago he wanted to take a tougher stance that you know we're negotiating back and forth with the Chinese and getting nowhere and that uh, he's gonna go after anyone uh, that he thinks is treating us unfairly you know I think I might have asked you this in the past John but I'm always interested in picking your brand on this how much of this is a method and how much of it is pure madness on the part of the president and by that I mean how much of this is impulsive and how much is well thought out on, on multi-levels to get the desired response? What do you think? There, there's certainly a lot of impulsiveness about it, and this is why I would turn back to this article that we're running right now that looks at what happened over the last few weeks on trade. You know, it, the, we had Treasury Secretary Steven Mnuchin, who looked like he was kind of calming tempers down uh, with China and moving towards a deal where, you know, they would agree to increase uh, the, their imports of U.S. goods. And the president's view turned very quickly over the course of a few days when you know, he started getting bad, bad publicity, bad headlines, uh, bad commentary on Fox and elsewhere uh, about looking soft. So I think there is an impulsiveness to the way he's handling this. But I think the overriding issue is that he really wants to show the world that he's tough and changing the way he's going to deal with these issues and you know I think he also feels just as a matter of his own strategy that uh, that this impulsiveness that is very much a part of what he does keeps other people off balance and is to his advantage so I think it's a combination of impulsiveness certainly tactically but he thinks that helps him in the long run uh, the markets seem sanguine with all this not really panicking about this what do yeah. you make of that well, you know, I think that there's an element of momentum investing going on here. Yeah. Uh, a lot of this is, is the tech stocks, the big ones, you know, Netflix, Google, Amazon. Uh, you know, they, they've been on a good run. I think the, the view in the markets is that um, they're somewhat insulated from the old economy industries, like agricultural steel, cars that are in the middle of all these trade uh, uh, dis disputes. And so I think investors are piling into those momentum stocks, the momentum tech stocks that look safe right now. The only thing I'd say is that's kind of a dangerous game to play when you have the valuations on those tech stocks so high. You know, that's the way things tend to get overdone. Yeah, indeed. And some of them are taking on the chin a little bit today in the face of what is uh, more buying in traditional uh, economic uh, dependent stocks here. Uh, John, thank you very, very much. John Hilsenrath, sure, the Wall Street uh, Journal Global Economics Editor.